Everybody, what's up? We are back. We're going to react to some more of the older videos. You guys really seem to enjoy this one. And like I said, it's a lot of fun for me, too. We're going to go headphones this time. So I don't have to worry about it echoing into my mic. And hopefully I can get the videos a little bit louder. Um, I just feel like the audio is going to be a lot easier if we rock with headphones. So we'll uh, we'll start with Plary and Board Meeting 2. Again, that'll be kind of interesting to see what kinds of jumps happen between the first and second one. Because I think I remember feeling like I learned some stuff in the first one that I implemented in the second one, even though they were kind of close together. And then we'll drop down the list a little bit and pick up, um, pick up where we kind of left off. All right, so let's just go ahead and get to it. So, very board meeting Welcome too. back everybody, I hope you had a good week. Today, we just need to discuss some new ideas. I feel like things are getting a little stagnant in the game. We need to get the players excited about something. Give them something new, give them something they haven't seen before. Mix things up a little bit. So what do we have? I'm gonna open the floor to you guys, hit me. Is it an obvious? He's playing Raid. That's a nod to my first skit. Again, this, assuming these are in chronological order on the playlist, this is only my third skit ever. I did the How YouTubers Who Don't Play Raid, Advertise Raid, and then Player and Board Meeting, and then this was my third skit ever. So, not a huge library to reference just yet. I got this. This is so easy. Let's do a summon raid event. And give like a ten times chance to pull Gorgorov. <sighs> That's actually not a terrible idea. Yeah, great work. That's a really, really good idea. Yeah, it'll actually be great for a lot of players. Nice job, man. <laughs> and maybe we could do a poll and let the community vote on the champion they'd like to see next time we do this event. And you ruined it. <laughs> yeah, way to go, new guy. I give you gold and you shoot your turds His glasses over. are so ridiculous. Turd covered gold all over the boardroom. I still hadn't quite got the pace like like we talked about in the last one. There's still a little bit too much of like a clip to clip to clip and not enough overlapping, but You're lucky you're still here. We figured yeah, it out you eventually. Know, you must have a rabbit's foot tied to your balls or something. We're not paying you to poop on gold here, okay? Okay, first of all, that's not a saying. Second of all, I'm an unpaid intern. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> Can we move on? Hey, we'll move on when I say I'm the boss here. That's right, new guy. We're just along for the ride. This is his train. He's the conductor. He's the judge. He's the jury. He's the... Who's the guy that does the executions? I think you're thinking of the janitor. Yep, nailed it. He's thinking of the executioner! No, I don't think that's it. Nope, that's definitely not it. That's not even a thing. Of course it is! The guy who does the executions? How could it be anything other than so the executioner? So stupid. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Oh, wait, you're thinking of the executives. No, I'm pretty sure I mean janitor. Oh, I did this in the second one. I remember doing this. I didn't remember it was in the second one, though. The janitor. Anyway, we're going to stick... With the and the tennis uh, idea, I like it. It's fresh. It's new. It's gonna get people excited. I'm in love with it. We're just gonna move on and pretend that the new guy didn't take a fat hot shit all over the gold. Yeah, don't poop on my gold again, new guy. <laughs> all right, we're on a roll today. What else we got, guys? I don't even know what I was going for with the racquetball. I think I, I just needed him to be fidgeting uh -huh. with something. You actually reminded me of this in your incoherent babbling. There's a video out from this YouTuber named Stu Gaming. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but he made a video talking about Bell Rudin's post about Spider-20. Apparently, it may be possible on a wider scale than we thought. You may not even need legendaries or three cold hearts. Have you guys seen this? The one with Zephyr Sniper? Yeah. And he shows off the masters and the gear, and she needs to be on lifesteal. And you gotta find that sweet spot in the HP so that she'll proc the counterattack from the mastery and her defense tree. Right. Nope, never heard of mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Fair enough. New guy, have you seen it? Yeah, it's That's pretty, pretty awesome. good. A lot of us thought it was impossible. Well, it pisses me off! Oh yeah! Love it when Boss gets mad! Why? <laughs> Is that not what we want? The community get together and figure this out and beat these dungeons? Is that not what we're going for here? Not for free! Try to get paid! We've been over this. This is not 
A soup kitchen! Do you remember? Real dumb, dude. Real dumb. I don't know if I have a lot of notes or anything to say about that. When it was made in such quick succession, I think it it felt a little bit more uh, active, felt a little bit fuller. But uh, I reckon the third one is where, like, I really probably start to figure some stuff out. All right, let's 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 jump down a little bit. Um, so this was the third one. If I remember correctly, it does it to me every time, dude. Shifting those damn buttons around. This is the last of of three about voting for Playarium in the user's choice, whatever it was, right? So this was after they didn't win. This is after Call of Duty Mobile won, and I think. I think this one, I'm actually looking at like the, the what's to come in the playlist. This seems kind of, may, maybe even Raid Update Promo, the one right before this, this seems kind of like a, a turn a little bit. And like the next several, I think, are, are pretty funny, if I remember correctly. I feel like I remember having some pretty high thoughts about this one, some pretty positive thoughts about this one. Hi. We here at Plarium. Well, like I say, congratulations to Call of Duty Mobile nope. for winning User's Choice Boards 2019. Well, okay, we're gonna have to do that again. What? We're gonna have to do it again. What do you mean I'm supposed to make a video congratulating them? Are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk. What's with the shirt? Hey, fuck you, man. I'm a professional. You called it Call of Doo Mobile. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do it again. This one was right. fun. Okay. This video is five minutes long. I think there's prob. I mean, I don't have the footage anymore, obviously. There's probably a good 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes of this that I like, you know, chopped up and, and <laughs> pieced together. I did it for a while. Try not to move around as much. You're screwing with the focus on the camera a little bit. It's just green. Okay, cut. How do you get the room? Congratulations to Call Moby. Nope. Hmm. For the Bean 2016 Jerk Awards. Wow. It was supposed to be ours. Cut. Supposed to be, don't cut me when I'm talking. It's supposed to be ours. Oh man, you can't come in here drunk. What did you say? You can't come in here drunk. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm drunk. This is not fair. We gave you a void shard. They really did. It? They really did bribe it. everybody with a void shard. How wild oh. is that? Would you, you use our link and vote? Call of Duty? <laughs> Action. What's happening? Let's go! <laughs> Congratulations. Guns. It's probably too long of a video, honestly. You have to do what you say. <laughs> but I'm the one in front of the camera. This goes forever, dude. For finishes, we'll just say, uh, sorry, we didn't win. We gave you the void shard. We thought that was good votes, but we didn't do it. And we don't know how we could have been any different to, bet, to get the votes. I mean, I guess we could have fixed the game. What? Could have fixed the game, made it better. You're the devil! Yeah, real dumb. Real dumb. This one? I think I was pretty happy with as, as well. Um, love the sweater. <laughs> love the Christmas sweater. This one's this one's dumb. Hi, I haven't watched it. We here at Plarium would like to wish time. you a happy holiday season. Turn it down a little bit. We know it's been an interesting year, but we're hoping we can put that behind us and move forward in 2020. This old fireplace brings back memories. I remember when I was a is it just me or is the fireplace kind of loud? What do you mean? I don't know. 
I just feel like it's crackling kind of loudly. I don't think so. Whatever, let's keep going. My father would come home with a big bag of toys for all of us, all my brothers and sisters. Granted, he'd make us pay for them, and he'd nerf them into the ground as soon as he gave them to us, but boy, did we have some fun. Which reminds me, we hope you guys are enjoying the Tormund fusion, because we have a lot more plenty. Okay, I know I'm not the only one that hears that. What? The fire getting louder. I keep feeling like I'm gonna have to yell to talk over it. How do you not hear it? And I think it's getting hotter. <laughs> ah, shit. We here at Player AM want you to know that- Why are you yelling? So that, I remember being so happy with how that worked out. Yell to talk over it. How do you not hear it? And I think it's getting hotter. The loud pop. I just did the Al shit thing just for the hell of it. And the pop just happened to line up. I didn't even have to like really work that to make that happen. I thought that was pretty good. We here at Player AM want you to know that- Why are you yelling? Mom punked or something? No. What is happening? You keep stopping. Okay, either you need a hearing aid or I need to be locked up because there's no way there's nothing going on here. You're telling me you don't hear this fire right now. No. All of this going on right here, you don't hear. I don't hear it. Okay, maybe I need to put the drink down. L let's let's take it again. We here at Plarium. Whew. Yeah. It's really getting hot in here, guys. I don't know what's going on. The fire's getting louder. It's getting hotter. Whew. Okay. Let's keep going, keep going. We here at Plarium think... I need a second. Wheezing? I can't remember way, how far I take this. I the way to Earth through this fireplace. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna die. We here at Plarium would like to say <laughs> that we hope that we can move on in 2020 and leave all the negative energy behind. 2020. So we just want to say happy holidays and that we hope that we hope to put an end that in 2020, we hope to put an end to that goddamn fireplace. Oh, wait, I think I hear it. Ah! I I'm sure you've heard by now. I think I wanted to do another take where I had like poured a bucket of water on my head and I was like, or like, you know, get in the shower and like soak myself. And then I was like, it's too much. It's too much work. It's going to require too much like clean up. I'm going to be in around all my shit soaking wet, so I didn't bother. But I think I wanted to take that one step further. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It felt like it flew under the radar a little bit. 3,000 views. Um, you know, some of my other stuff was doing a bit better there. I feel like that one kind of flew under the radar, unfortunately. But I thought it was pretty good. Free Dracomorph. This, I, I think this was the beginning of... Um, yeah, the Draco Gate stuff, which I think I referenced a few times in some videos to come. We're we're creeping up on the one star re review bomb thing from Darth, I think, too, which we did some fun stuff with. All right, let's see what I don't remember this one. Thrown around that we've given a particular content creator a particular legendary champion that happens to be the subject of a particular 10x event that is currently ongoing. Effectively known as Draco Gate 2020, these accusations hurt us, they offend us, and they confuse us. We were under the impression that we had a different relationship with our players, and we've worked very hard to maintain that. Relationship. I don't remember this one at all. Actually, I have so no idea where this is lack going. Of certainty about us really cuts deep. What you need to understand about this situation is, we're running out of ways to piss you off. I mean, we do the crappy fusion events. We refuse to balance champions that need balancing. We did, though. We refuse to fix the game. We put out content that's too hard. We put out packs that aren't worth the money. We keep adding new oh, irrelevant champs to the pool to make it that much less likely that you'll get a champion that you want. We announce updates and then take forever to put them out. We're doing everything <laughs> we can to keep you frustrated, and we're running out of ideas. So we're having to think outside the box here. Give us a break. I can promise you that moving forward in 2020, we're going to find new, 
creative, innovative ways to make sure that you're as unhappy as possible playing Raid Shadow Legends because that is our mission. And we will not rest until every single one of you is miserable. <laughs> we apologize. Damn, you ever had just any about nailed it at this point, I think. Something like this would happen. Again, that's a failure on our part. We have to do a better job of establishing the relationship that we want to have with you as players. So take it from me. I give you my word. Moving forward in 2020, we will do better at making you miserable. <laughs> Good day to you. Pretty done. What was this? If Clarion was a musician is what this one's called. What Was this when it was like... I, I mentioned there that they announce updates and then take forever to get them out. Was this... The song that like never starts. Coming soon. Is yeah. It, yeah, it's such a good song. This song. It's gonna change the game. It's gonna change the whole music game. The choruses. I miss my guitar. Choruses, dude. chords, guitar solos, everything. Coming soon. Is a song. What's really the crazy part about it? you are to hear in this song. It's so soon. It's so, it, it's so close. Right around the corner. Yeah, let's move on. We here at Plarium know that. All right, this one's called Quarantine Fun with Plarium. <laughs> Toilet paper. I remember a little bit of this one. God, yeah, some of these are like vague memories at this point. I, I forgot that at the beginning of the pandemic, toilet paper was such a thing. Like, I forgot all about that. So Plarium's at home in their mansion with mountains of toilet paper. I don't remember what I do in this one though. And it can be very difficult to be stuck in your home all the time. We're 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 at home with you. We feel <sighs> slumming, right? That's why we're happy to announce the entertainment pass. For two easy payments of forty nine ninety nine per week, every Friday we will fax you one of the dankest memes we can find. <laughs> Problem solved, right? Stop, stop, stop. What are you reading? 100 bucks a week. I'm not reading that, if that's what you're asking. You're me. literally just supposed to read it. There's not one word on there about monetization of any sort. Am I just going to stand up here and be entertaining for free? Yep. <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. Uh, you're not supposed to touch your face. We also understand that getting your hands on the essentials that you need to live comfortably are much more difficult these days, which is why we have to be more conscious than ever about our resource management and how we're using it. You know what? Can you hit me real quick? My hands are a little wet. Thank you. Oh, man. Appreciate that. Which is why we have to be uh, more conscious. We should probably cut that out. Okay. People have even gone so low as to get physical with one another in the supermarkets. That's just crazy. I actually got into a little tiff the other day, and my shoulder's actually still hurting pretty badly. Which one? The right one. My right or your right? <laughs> anyway, the point I'm trying to make here today is that we just wanted to bring you a little bit of fun to give you a little bit of a distraction from our all but certain... That was based on a real conversation that I had with someone in the few days, like, up to when I recorded this. That was based on a real conversation <laughs> that, that I had with someone. I said my shoulder hurts. The, the exact conversation, basically. I was like, that's... That's golden. I've got to put that in a video. And very quickly, my right or your right? What do you mean? Um, okay, cut. Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know. Be more gentle. Anyway, we just wanted to bring you a little fun to distract you from my. I hate you so much. Hmm. Well, you're stuck with me, huh? Now hit me with another roll. Thank you. The message I'm trying to get across to you is that as long as we stay focused, and we stay strong, and we stay united as a people, we can get through the fire and flames of this together. What? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, we get through the fire and flames of this with a little bit of peace and harmonica. What is actually happening? Do you want to play through the fire and flames on a harmonica? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get the lips moist for the old mouth harp. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Tw 
2300 views is criminal it's criminal for this one this is this i think it's the hardest i've laughed at anything up to this point in the playlist 2300 views is criminal for this never a thing was it <laughs> no yeah no it was not that's so dumb <laughs> yeah probably shouldn't have touched your face that's good i'm pretty happy with that one that was my most recent upload that popped up on the screen there too yeah 2300 views for that's criminal i'll i'll, I'll say it that, that deserves more attention i think uh all right so this one this is raid shadow legends the movie unofficial trailer this was one of my like most fun ideas that i'd had for a while and i didn't i never up to this point i didn't feel like i like knew enough about editing and stuff to put something together that i that i thought was going to satisfy it because i thought it was a really big idea i was really happy with the idea and it was one that i felt uh i, I don't know maybe intimidated by maybe pressured like it has to be a good one because I think it's such a good idea, I have to really do a good job on it. So this one took me a little while to make. I don't remember how it turned out. 11,000 views, though, is, uh, is, is pretty good. Pretty good. So let's see what this was, because I don't remember it very well. I remember the idea vividly. I don't remember how I executed it. I started a new account because I needed footage of the intro, which is a pain in the ass. I hit up uh, all the other creators. I was like, if you want to send me a clip of you like raging at the game, um, I would appreciate it. Dude, he's so funny, by the way. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but he is so funny. Every time we got together, every time we got together, he'd have me rolling, dude. He's the one who uh, first said Blood George. We, I, was, I had a video. I can't remember if I ever made the video, but I had an idea where I was going to intentionally mispronounce Champ's names, and that was the whole video was going to say champ's names wrong and uh I, we, I was talking with him about the idea and he started rattling a few off and he hit me with blood george and i lost my fucking mind i laughed god it, it just it was like the perfect timing perfect moment i don't know what about it hit me so hard it was the funniest fucking thing <laughs> he's hilarious uh god, i wonder what he's up to these days he was always fun to work with though And then Dart sends me this bullshit. Fucking jerk. And I was like, alright, I'm using it. Like He's like, I don't care. Come on. That was really good too. Wow, the campfire. <laughs> I think that's pretty damn good, actually. 
Oh, motherfucker. I think that's pretty good, actually. Are you ready? Oh, it gets me every time, dude. Are you ready? Gets me every time. Yeah, I think that was pretty good for like my again, my limited, my relatively limited experience at the time. Not bad. I think I, I wonder maybe if it could have used a voiceover like that Mr. That, that movie trailer voice reading the text on the screen. I wonder if it could have used that as well. But overall, not too bad, I don't think. A fun little sneaky collab. A few collabs in there I forgot about. That's that's pretty good. All right, where are we at now? <clears throat> so we did that. We got the two videos about the um Clary responds to Darth Microtransaction is what it's called. And again, I'm assuming. Ready? Yep. You're ready for me to come on right now. This is right now. About the one star review. Well, I'm ready thing. whenever you are. But I'll tell you right now, I am boy in my fist. Boy, I am so, I am some kind of angry. Mm -hmm. When I get on this camera, there's going to be hell to pay. So do it. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Yes, we are all ready. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm ready when you are. Oh my god. What is the problem? The problem is you won't come onto the camera and start. Alright, fuck it, I'm going. God. That is so ugly. Some of you may have recently seen a video <laughs> from Darth Micro <laughs> That's so ugly. Speaking about Plarium and our content creator program. And now he's going to leave it. And he said a lot of really, really hurtful things. I don't know what this character is, by the way. I don't know what happened here. There's clearly some influence, some Ron Burgundy laced into this character, clearly. But I don't really have an answer for you as far as like where it ultimately came from or how we arrived here. Something about the wig and the mustache. Be hurtful. It hurts me deep in my this soul. This felt right. Hurts me more. Is that the next time I see him? The flip? The way the hair flips? I'm it's so gross. Right up in his ass. Mm, don't say it like that. What do you mean? No one's... That's not right. I'm going to put I'm going to put one right up in his ass. What do you mean? Don't. Where I'm from, that's normal. It's almost well, like English here. isn't his first language. What am I supposed I don't... to say? You're going to hit him or something. Let's let's do this again. Let's, let's start this over. No. What do you mean it's... Would you, are you telling me I can't start this over? I would like to not start it over. Oh, I've got, I've got red of him. I've got a red mind to put one right up in your ass if you let, if you. I would prefer start it over. <sighs> Darth Micro transaction. That's so ugly. You have hurt me. You've cut me deep. You have hurt my colleagues. <laughs> Then worst of all, oh man, am I pissed off at you right now. I've got a right mind to just give you the old one too. Is that better? I mean, technically it's better. <laughs> I would have really liked, I, I asked you, I, I asked you specifically if I could get a haircut before this. And you told me we didn't have time. We didn't. Look at this nonsense. <laughs> That's me. Genuinely being annoyed at the hair, <laughs> but deciding to deal with it in character. What I remember I that. How am I supposed to be tough, looking like somebody's aunt? Whatever. Let's let's keep it going. Darth, <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell something to you, okay? So that of course I lean into you it a bit, but that wig was annoying and itchy. God, so itchy. Well. You've got some some balls on you. Some just a bunch of balls. It's like a like a bundle of grapes. I think I did a stream as this character once, which was pretty fun. Down there. And I'm telling you <laughs> that was real. Like a I told you I would point out to you guys when when there's yeah. a moment where I almost break and sometimes I'll kind of leave them in just because I think that's funny. That was real. Let me. Uh, it's just a bunch of balls. It's like a like a bundle of grapes down there. 
And I'm telling you, you've crossed the line. <laughs> Our paths will cross one day. And maybe you'll walk this way and I'll walk this way. And it'll, it'll, be, a close, it'll be a close call. And then we'll go... Along our way? No idea where I'm going with this. I remember this. There was no script. And I started this. And the whole time I'm thinking, I, I don't know where it's going. So we're just going to let it happen. That doesn't sound very scary at all. I don't think that's what that saying is supposed to imply. <laughs> what are you? Are you with me here? Mm. Yeah, that's not very scary again. It's, it's, one of these days, our paths will intersect. At directly the same time, somewhere on the planet. You'll walk one way, I'll walk another way, and we'll bump shoulders. And when we bump shoulders, when the worlds collide, Darth Microtransaction and Plarium. Because I am Plarium. Everybody's been waiting to see the man behind it all. Feast your eyes on it. That's so fucking you ugly, dude. About one star reviews? We care a lot about them. Yes, I know that. The point is to make him think that we <laughs> don't care about it. Have you never played anything like this before? It's mind games. I'm in his head. I'm trying to live in his head. I'm, I'm living in his head. Not rent free, I'm no mooch, but for a reasonable, affordable amount of rent for the amount of space that I am renting. It's only right. But I am paying a, a, a reasonable $1,200 a month rent for a nice uh, two bedroom, two and a half bath. I don't know why we have an extra half bath as a two bedroom, but it'll be, it'll be the litter box room for our cats. <laughs> We have many cats. So how do you like that, Darth? $1,200 a month. And my cats are going to shit in your half bath. I feel like we are severely off topic here. <laughs> we are not off topic. This is exactly <laughs> on topic. I will come into that studio booth and put the sausage mitts on you. Please don't. With strokes like the witch you have never seen. See, that's the thing. you got to stop saying stuff like that. What do you mean? You're calling them strokes. What is... Strokes. We call them strokes where I'm from. No one calls them strokes anywhere. Mm. Well, I feel like wherever you're from does a lot of very stupid things and has a lot of stupid sayings. It's pissing me off. Darth, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> cease and decease. Nope, that is not right. What? It's cease and desist. <laughs> Another one of your stupid sayings. Well, nope. Stop telling people to leave bad reviews on the game. Not because we care, because we don't. But because it's just... Like, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Why are you doing this to us? Please don't. Do things to us. <laughs> we'll give you the martyr this time. <laughs> <laughs> You can cut this out, right? That's good. I'm, I think that's pretty good, too. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's, again, I don't know. Sometimes I'm, I don't know how long they're supposed to be. Because I know when I'm watching stuff from other creators that I like, I always wish the videos were longer. So I try to strike a balance. But uh, yeah, those, those were fun. Those were fun to make. We had a pretty good little back and forth on that. There's a part two that just popped up here. We won't watch that one here. If you want to see that one, you can go check it out. It's called Plarium. Uh, I guess I typoed it. Plarium's response to Darth again. I think I was going to do Plarium's response and fucked it up somehow. But either way, Plarium responds to Darth again. Now you've really done it, DM. If you want to see the part through that. I will right, we'll do a couple more here. Um, the Ballad of Draco Gate. So before you listen to this song, I just want to give you a little bit of I remember this. We, we probably won't react to this here. This is another one that I think you should go check out. I think it flew under the radar a little bit. Uh, this was me. I hit record one night. I was sitting in my office, fucking around on my guitar, and I hit record and started playing around on my guitar and just improvised 
a song. It's it's like kind of folksy, sitting around the campfire, just saying whatever while you're playing a guitar kind of thing. And it was about Draco Gate. And there's some really funny shit in it. I remember there's some really funny lines in it. Um, we won't watch it here, but it's uh, it's worth checking out. I, in my opinion, it's called the Ballad of Draco Gate, the song I never made. So we won't watch. Hey, everybody! Today, all right. This one, I don't know what was going on in my head. This one, I can't even say the name because it's not real words. It's it's top ten. <laughs> Her from herd in raid schmackle habits, and I think it's just a nonsensical. Top 10 list. We're going to be talking about the top 10 foods in Raid Shangilangi. But first, if you'd like to win some gems, leave a comment below mm. with your UM code. This was real. And then come over to the gym giveaway. Twitch.tv slash shakegigs <laughs> for another chance to win. Let's go ahead and get into the countdown. Coming in at number 10, we have Mystery Shards. They're green. Look, there are videos on this playlist that are a product of me. Being in a particularly goofy slash stupid mood and just letting that turn into a video. And that's what this was. I don't know if this was influenced by someone. I don't know if I if I had had someone's top 10 list of, of, of like some other genre, like movies or something pop up in my feed and thought it was real dumb the way they did it. So I was making fun of them. I don't remember why this is a video. <laughs> um. Like there's timestamps and everything. I don't know why it's a video. It's real stupid. But like sometimes I just had to do the dumbest thing I could think of. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's just how it had to be, and that's what this was. So we'll <laughs> skip this one too. Maybe this will be the last one we do here. Uh, this is called How Plarium Designs New Champs. And then after this, we start getting to where... I think it's kind of another level up. The, the the one after this is Stuff No Raid Players Say. Clarion Board Meeting 3. Stuff No Raid Players Say Part 2. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and then like some other like heavy character type stuff. But the, the, we're, we're rounding another corner, I think, in the quality of the stuff that I was able to do. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stop at player, how Player Designs Champs and pick up. That's stuff no rate players say in the next one. So I'll play what what did I do here? What was this one? like an old silent film approach. <laughs> I think I remember where this goes. It's still really loud, isn't it? Yeah, man, 
again, the, the bit, my big takeaway from here is that I used to do such a better job acting on my ideas. Um, and we have, we have got to get back to that. I think in every direction on this channel, on my comedy channel, that's got nothing to do with gaming, like everywhere. I think if, if I have, I've, there's ideas that I've kind of convinced myself I can't make yet. I think I got to stop that. I think I got to go make them. So maybe as soon as I stop recording this, I'm going to go do that. I just realized there's a gap in the green screen there, but like, what are you going to do? You know? Um, yeah, I reckon we got to go work on some of these ideas. So yeah, then I, I, I'm excited about the next video. This was also really fun. I got to see a couple that I'd kind of forgotten about. This was, this was really nice. I'm particularly excited about the next one because I've, I, I feel like I remember this turning point. I feel like I remember feeling like my content really leveled up around this time. And that'll be the videos that we start with in the next episode of this. So again, I'm glad you guys enjoy this so much. It's really fun for me to go back and take a look at it. I appreciate you guys uh, being around. Let me know if you if you like this one as much as the first one. If there's anything more you'd like to see, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, at the moment, I'm just kind of sharing thoughts as we go through. But if there's something else in particular you'd like to see in this series, I guess we'll call it. Let me know in the comments. And if there's anything interesting, we'll try to implement it. But that's it. I'm getting out of here. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later.